Here we are in Google Analytics, and we want to see how much traffic we're getting from the European Union so that we can start to assess the amount of exposure we have when it comes to GDPR. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my date range here to be a few months worth of data. So we went here January 1st, 2018 through the end of May. And in order to see the amount of traffic I get, first thing I need to do is see traffic I get from every country in the world. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to Audience. I'm going to expand that. Scroll down to Geo. Click on that. And then click on this Location Report right here. And you'll see this actually loads up an interactive map of the entire world. So I can hover over individual countries if I wanted to. But what I really want to do is see this table below the map. And this shows me the top 10 countries that are driving traffic to my website by sessions. And what we really want to do now is expand this to show all of the data for all of the traffic that we've received. So right now we're just seeing the first 10 rows here of 212 different possible countries that are driving traffic to our site. So what I'm going to do is where it says 10 here, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to expand this number to be larger than the total number of entries. So you can see I'm going to go with 250 because over here we had 212 countries. So 250 will cover me. And now this has been updated to show the top 212, because that's how many we had, countries that are driving traffic to the site. So now what I want to do is actually export all of this data so that we can then take it into our spreadsheet that's going to show us our exposure when it comes to GDPR in terms of how many sessions are coming from the European Union. So to do that, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I'm going to click on this export feature. And I'm just going to select the file type that I'd like to export. So we're not going to go with PDF because PDF is going to be a file type that's not going to allow us as easily to copy and paste. But you could go with any of the other three. Google Sheets, if you use uh, Google Apps and you want to open it in uh, Google Sheets. You can use Excel, or you can use a CSV if you use some other type of database tool. And that's really it. Once you click one of these, it'll ask you where you want to save it, what you want to name it. And from there, you'll be able to copy and paste the data into our spreadsheet calculator and see what your exposure looks like when it comes to GDPR.